guys, King Jared here, and welcome to my FIFA 13 Seven Scotland career mode series here. We're starting things off with some international friendly fixtures, and as usual, this bloody game is convinced it's my debut. Well done, by the way, EA, for a flawless game. No bugs or glitches whatsoever in your fucking game. I'm not chosen for the friendly of Hungary, and Rhodes scores early on only for Stieber to equalise soon after. Kelly puts the Scots ahead once more after a half hour, and McGee seals a 3-1 victory for the Scots, and isn't his name just so fucking Scottish? With that said, though I'm chosen to play for Scotland in the other friendly against the Masters of Bacon, Denmark. This game wasn't too exciting, but a lot of through ball finds Bannon, who smashes it in just as we enter injury time for what should be the winning goal. But right from the fucking kickoff, the Danish come forward, and Wask curls one into the far corner to piss me the hell off. I would played quite well throughout this bloody game, winning a lot of headers and blocking a fair few passes, so for the days to score, when we had such a fucking lead late on, just irritated me. It was Denmark's only fucking shot of the game as well. It's only a friendly though, and it does indeed end 1-1, so now we focus on Barcelona once again, as we enter the dramatic last couple of months of the season. Back to Barca, we are home to Atletico Madrid next to what looks likely to be a tight match, and to have Falcao up front for them, who wins every fucking thing in the air. It's mental. But it's Falcao's feet that annoy me as he gets a lucky break to get in and go and my side tackle earns my penalty kick. I'm booked for a challenge and Falcao sticks it into the corner to put Atletico one up. Barca respond immediately from the kickoff, Fabregas finding Messi and the wee midget burying the shot into that far corner to level the game. That long, hopeful lot of through ball finds Adrian who has an easy header with 10 minutes to go because Valdez decided to fucking come off his line thinking it was a good idea, you fucking idiot. Peaky losing out in the air was also fucking annoying, and the game ends a 2-1 defeat for Barcelona, which is a huge blow for our title ambitions. We then play in the Euro League Cup against league rivals Seville, and I'm not chosen for this game. I'm not too worried, especially as Affley opens a score early on, but Doss grabs what could be a vital away goal after 66 minutes, and the game ends 1-1, so really we need to score in their way leg. We actually play Seville next in league duty, meaning we'll have to well, fucking play the same team three times in a week. This is only the second meeting though, and we need to make sure we stay in touch with leaders Valencia, so a win is a must. After half an hour, Thiago opens a score with a low drilled shot, and I shush the Seville strikers for daring to think they could stop Barcelona. Then right before half time, I am sent off for this tackle. It's a bit harsh if you ask me, but I'm banned, but we still won the game 1-0, earning a huge three points. We play Seville yet again in the second leg of the Euroleague Cup quarter final, and I'm not chosen yet again despite only playing half the fucking league match, so I sit on the sidelines and watch on in horror as Perotti opens a score after Valdez got injured for us. Doss makes it 2 0, and we need a fucking miracle. But even with 10 men for Seville, Barca could not score, and we will win no European trophies this season. Valdez is out for two months as well, meaning that pish keeper Oyer will fucking need to play instead, which is just a bloody kick in the balls for us, as we will need to be full strength to stay and have a chance of winning that title. I check Oyer's stats and he's barely a goddamn silver, look at those god awful stats. God help us. I'm suspended for the next league match with Valacano, and Thiago scores early on to ease my fears. Khalifa equalises for Valacano though, and I'm beginning to panic. Then Gonzalez scores a fucking penalty to put the host ahead, but Iniesta equalises and we leave with just a single point. The only plus point was that Real Madrid drew with Levante and Valencia also dropped points, so there was only a single point between the three title chasers. I'm playing against Real Zaragoza and we open the scoring when who else but Messi drills in it in the near post after a great dribbling, and as usual I shush their strikers. Messi makes it 2-0 latching on to a rebound after an hour, and Isaac Cuenca makes it 3-0 of minutes remaining. The game ends 3-0, and we get this weird end of season style cutscene at full time, but the season's not over yet. In fact, we're back on top of the table. Get in there! Barca are top by a point ahead of Real Madrid, and two ahead of Valencia with just six games to go. If we don't fuck things up, we're champions. So we play Malaga next, and I'm not chosen for whatever bloody reason, and I'm not too worried because when I'm, well actually I'm worried, because when I'm not playing, we don't win a fair bit. But Thiago scores after 10 minutes to ease my fears, and Aloisi's red card as well as Tello's goal makes me feel a lot better. The Vrij's red card has no negative impact as we won 2-0 and stayed top of that table. Valencia actually dropped more points, so it's a bit of a two horse race now between ourselves and Real Madrid, as you'd kind of expect, Roy. Next game, home to Getafe. Messi scores a nice goal after 15 minutes, and all is well for the world. A tidy finish when a chance looks lost. 
Annoyingly, Peaky gives away a penalty kick, designed to only fill once inside the area. He was booked for it as well. But I can't think why he didn't just fill the bastard outside the area. So Katafi equalised because Peaky's a fucking moron. I decided to be more attacking and go forward a lot, and my over eagerness sees me get booked for a reckless side tackle. My header from a corner is blocked on the line by side and but able to stab it across the line at second chance I'm asking to put us ahead. Fuck knows where the rest of the Barcelona players were in that penalty area, but they all fucking gave up apart from me, not I, King Jad, eager to put Barca on my back to make sure we win this fucking title. Messi makes sure of all three points after 86 minutes by smashing it past the keeper and it is now 3-1 and that is how this game will fucking end. Next game away to Espanyol, the games are coming thick and fast and I'm in a confident mood. Messi smashes in with his left foot after just 3 minutes and I shush the Espanyol strikers for fearing the worst. But annoyingly the bastards equalise when La Soga is given time to turn and shoot two defenders on him and both of them so incompetent to the extreme. Fabregas restores our lead with a nice shot into the far corner after just 20 minutes and with 10 minutes left Messi tucks a shot in at an post to make it 3-1 and make a 3 points safe and secure. I'm not picked to play against Mallorca and for a long time it is 0-0 but a penalty from Nelson Oliveira gives us a narrow 1-0 victory and I can breathe easy once again. Two games left, we're ahead by a point still and Valencia are definitely out of the title race in all honesty, they just fell apart towards the end of the season here. But we must face Granada who made me want to leave Barca early in the season when they beat us and it's actually because we got beat after that I fucking put myself on the transfer list. I actually set up the first goal after 20 minutes as my pass is picked out by Tello who drills it into the far corner and I celebrate run by running around him like a fucking dafty. Right before our time Messi makes it 2-0 and I shush the Granada strikers. Fuck the lot of you. The game ends 2-0 to Barcelona and we are going to be forced to go to the final day to determine who wins the La Liga title. Our opponents are Real Madrid Castilla who absolutely suck. So we are confident going into this game. And we've scored for fun against this team in the past, but nobody was as fucking confident as Messi, I'll tell you that. The table saw us a point ahead still via Madrid, so there was no room for complacency. The nerves were so high, the tension was so thick he cut it, but Messi was a guy that kept his composure and coolness throughout the entire game. And just fucking wait until you see this here. He went and turned away from his man, called a shot into the far bottom corner to give his lead in the 18th minute, but he was not done there. Things got even better when Messi fucking scores off a what he finishes a wonderful passing sequence in the 24th minute and already he's on a hat-trick which he gets in the 40th minute and it's just fucking, it's just brilliant, I mean he's, he's sealed the title after 40 minutes, first half the game's already over, the title's already ours and Messi's already got his fucking hat-trick. Into the second half Messi scores his fourth goal before the hour and he's definitely stepping up and delivering for Barca when needed the most. And the little midget gets his fifth and Barca swift after 71 minutes to really confirm his status as best in the world. The game ends 5-0, Messi scoring all five and we can now celebrate being champions of Spain. I can't help but sit back and bask in this glorious moment winning one of the most exciting leagues in the world with one of the best teams in the world. We still have a Spanish Cup final to try and win also and uh, to complete the ethnic double. And then it's on in Scotland to compete in the European Championships. This is definitely the best spell of my entire career so far and I hope to keep this winning feeling going for club and country. I know we can do it. So the final league table saw Barcelona ahead by a single point and Messi actually got 32 league goals. So that's just the league, keep in mind. His full tally for the season so far was 47 in all competitions which is just scary. We now look at what Scotland were facing in the group here. Where st the groups have been decided for the championships in Europe and our section rivals Czech Republic got a horrible group being paired with Germany, Portugal and Slovenia. Group B has Spain, Netherlands, Northern Ireland and Russia. Well done Northern Ireland buddy for qualifying, good on you. Group C has England, boo, Italy, Turkey and Greece and Scotland's group are f it seems so easy. Austria, Finland and Norway is a very favourable group for us and my confidence is sky high. So Barcelona play Valencia in the final of the Spanish Cup, who we struggled to get the better of a season in head-to-head -head in the league, so I was expecting a really tough battle. My fears were confirmed when Soldado sets up Jekyll to score for 16 minutes gone. After half an hour, a cross to the back post finds me, but my powerful header cracks the crossbar and we're still behind. I go forward to try and help and end up help set up the fucking equaliser when Messi latches onto a back heel and drills it past Diego Alves to tie this final and I shush this overpowered keeper. Fuck your saves. 
As the clock enters injury time, Barcelona hunt for a winner and Messi somehow wriggles past a few players holding on to the ball and he smashes it past Diego Alves to win the Spanish Cup for us and complete a domestic double. Honestly guys, Messi is just a wonderful player to have in your team, it's just unreal. As soon as Valencia kicked off, it is all over, the whistle goes and yet again we are celebrating a great triumph to end the season on a high. I may be facing a lot of my teammates this summer at international duty, who knows, but I'll be covered in the next episode as we begin our adventures in the European Championships with Scotland. Finland first, then Norway, before playing Austria. Can the Scots get past the group stages for the very first time ever in the major competition? This has been King Jad, hope you enjoyed the video, peace out, come on Scotland!